Jesus was no quitter. He doesn't want us to be quitters, too. Especially in the realm of love. The scripture says love never fails. And uh, so it was with our Lord Jesus. In John 13, verse 1, we read, Having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. You know, Solomon, in the last chapter of his song, uh, talks about love, and he says there are three things that he mentions here. He says in verse 6 that love is as strong as death. So this idea of the resilience of love, of the stamina of love, of love carrying on and not quitting in the face of opposition. And then secondly, he says in verse 7, many waters cannot quench love, nor can the floods drown it. This is certainly true with our Lord Jesus. All the waves and billows of God's wrath uh, went over his soul, and yet love sustained him to the end. And uh, he did it for love. And and so it is with us. And, you know, the, there are adverse activities. There are, there are pressures. There are challenges. There are difficulties uh, that could uh, undermine our love for God or our love for one another. And uh, the scripture says, no, that, that true love uh, can withstand the storms of life. And then he says, if a man would give for love all the wealth of his house, it would be utterly despised. So the idea that, that um, death can't destroy it and storms can't overwhelm it and you can't put a price on it. If you gave everything you had for it, it, uh, it would, the, the locals would say, well, big deal. <laughs> love is worth it. And, uh, and I want to tell you a little story about that. The story has to do with um, a man named Jean-Dominique Bobby. He was the editor-in-chief of the French L, the fashion magazine. And on December 8, 1995, he had a stroke and lapsed into a coma. And he, he awoke 20 days later, and uh, he was mentally aware, but uh, physically paralyzed. Uh, what is known as locked-in syndrome. All he could move, he had a little head movement, and he could blink his left eye. That was it. And he was moved to a hospital in Normandy on the French coast, and it was assumed that his life was over. But his girlfriend, Florence, didn't think so. And she began making the three-hour trip two or three times a week from Paris to Normandy to the hospital to visit uh, uh, Jean Doe, as she called him. And uh, he, amazingly enough, in this situation, devised a scheme, a communication scheme, with his left eye. He, he designed an alphabet in which the letters were arranged from the most often used in the French language to the least often. And so it looked like E-S-A-R-I-N-T-U and so on. And she then would repeat this list of the alphabet until he blinked his left eye. And when he, is, he blinked his eye, she knew that was the letter he wanted, and she would write it down. And believe it or not, through this method, Jean-Dominique wrote an all-time bestseller. It's called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. They say it took him two 100,000 blinks to spell out that book one letter at a time. Two minutes, generally, two minutes per letter. The book became a, a, a bestseller all through Europe and eventually became a movie. And sadly, Barbie died two days after its publication. It's astounding to think of it, that love finds a way. Love doesn't allow the challenges, the difficulties of life to overwhelm us. This world needs love. It needs to see the kind of love that sustains, that, that carries on, that doesn't give up, that doesn't quit. And how thankful we are for so many around us who have been through thick and thin together, who have faced challenges, 
people who are loyal to God in the face of great persecution and difficulty, people who are loyal to each other, to their families, sometimes to their children who have turned against them and wandered off into the world, and they go on loving them. And so may this be our watchword, love never fails. Jesus, having loved his own, having loved you, he loved us to the very end. Nothing can stop his love and nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord.